thank you sir ravindran sir sir so nice of you to have you know given interest sir oh you, good sir. good evening friends so let us start with you know today's program so this is a small uh, introduction related to the banking technology this area some uh, areas are all very important some areas are all you no know, off, offline important so i think is my only again request is you view these answers what i am talking from the from the examiner's uh, point of view examiner means you know the the person who is conducting the examination so the requirement in my mind may be something different what is in the mind of the receiver is more important in any aspect that you accept so that way your mind should always be in visualizing as to what sort of questions can be you know coined using these concepts that way you will have to uh, be proactive in your thinking that's what my request is you know you, i will try to guide you wherever possible but only things you know you should also be proactive you should be thinking in a positive manner so essentials of bank computerization payment systems data communication network and electronic fund transfers role of technology in upgradations and security considerations etc are the topics which you are going to cover in general during these three days some chat is there let me see warm welcome to our online session sir has given the evening yes so need for computerization these are all you know the the positive uh, sides of you know computerization which all of you are aware so concept started after 1980 81 and gained pace in 83 84 possibly a question may come in this may not also but these are all you know the generic questions generic questions just you know try to record in your mind the possibility of a question being asked under this also is there means though in 1980 81 it gained pace in 83 84 objective is all of you are aware that it's service housekeeping decision making productivity and profitability negative questions also will be there as you are aware that they may ask you know some objective which is which of the following is not the objective of computerization then they may give you know service housekeeping decision making productivity and profitability and some other you know which is not relevant to this they will give and you will have to select these are all uh, normal way of you know questions being put in a generic way you can put it in your mind that you know there is a possibility of a question being asked in this so i am not concentrating much on this because you know literally related to some technical issues which are all computer related and affect your day to day work let's try to concentrate more on that then there are stand alone and multi user systems multi user systems you know there is a small aperture terminal like through which you know you are able to access the main server through which you know various terminals are connected terminals are all small terminals will come come, come in, in in place now you are keeping it on your table and you are working it very fast so that all of you know they are all stand alone machines and multi user systems means stand alone machine means what independently you keep your machine at work and multi user system means you know one system being connected to many terminals many people can use at one time that we will we will discuss in the coming classes coming sessions in more in detail about all this computerization is possible in a branch in a regional office head office in head office all of you are aware that in general we have given you some few departments head office has you no know, huge departments tomorrow a new department may also come up in the head office you may say in a private sector bank if you go their categorization of offices are all totally different so every day you know a new concept is coming up and divisions and departments are also getting increased so normally we talk about you no know, operations department planning department human resource department development human resource development department international business services etc so i am not going in depth into the operational level of all these departments which is some other department which is some other topic i think you know you, you will be discussing those topics in those sessions human relations department or administrative support funds management investment portfolio management branch officers branch profiles i mean what is this branch what are the various activities of the business every branch will not do every activity there are certain branches which are categorized to be masters in certain activities only those activities will be carried out to see when we were working in the bank we had to do a to z all the work now deposit oriented advance oriented risk related area only that so only a particular activity is you know is uh, done by a particular branch such so that sort of segregation has come up now credit information system how you are able to see the credit related areas and also the credit information related to the various borrowers various clients all those things you know they are all being captured in the system in a systematic manner these are all the departments local area network now literally we are entering into the computerization 
wherein you may have you know number of questions on this just you have to concentrate on all this you don't you know give tension at all try to learn easily things are easier more easier than what you visualize so computer network linking computers network devices and peripherals within a localized area known as lan lan means local area network which will not extend beyond 150 meters this question is being repeated how many times so you must know that a lan capability is not beyond 150 meters which means within 150 meters in a terminal which is you know connected to a lan you can work on various you know locations or various uh, desks that's what you mean workstations we call right so what does lan do it uses network adapters that employ special techniques to share a common medium like cable or a radio or light wave between the connected nodes here the important words i will again repeat how a lan is connected lan is connected through a cable a cable wire is you know is is connecting one possibility or there are radio waves you must have seen why when the bandwidth is more the capability of cable is insufficient cable is too small to capture those details so i go for the next advanced tool which is a radio wave similarly when it is not enough then i go for light wave so there are nodes means what what is the difference between a node and a network network is something which is connecting them but a node is the terminal through which you know are getting connected to various various you know workstations or machines or whatever you call so the way in which the devices are interconnected here what the question could come what are the common medium which are connecting the nodes cable radio or light wave you can say this will be easy for you to remember right way in which the devices are interconnected in lan is known as the topology suppose i am trying to connect through a cable or through a light wave how do i connect it there should be some process through which you know i connect it you know that is called as the topology i will give you an example i have to go to office and work that's a fact so when i reach an office office is the place where i work and i get connected to my office obviously that is what the cable through which the, through the cable you are going to connect so i am in my house i am in the office i have to go to my office and work but how do i get connected to the office of course cable is one which is through which you know which is transforming the information from one place to another that is the job for it but for 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 the cable to transform some media is required no what is the media that media is nothing but your topology again i am comparing you i am working at home i am at home i am going to office my office is at 3 km distance i have to travel through some media thereby i can reach my office my aim here is you know to go from my house to office that going is that the travel is called the cable or the radio light or whatever you call it. okay but now how do i travel i can go by bus i can go by train i can go by cycle i can walk down i can go by any means which i have for friends that is called as topology here the information is transmitted through centralized and distribution control <laughs> what do you mean by this difference you will have to how the topology transmission takes place one centralized another distribution what do you mean by decentralized centralized means you know, there is a common place through which you know everybody is given i am the boss i will give everybody 1111 food packet everybody will take from me i am centralized distribution means what i have agencies through which i am trying to distribute this food items to various people right this is a simple thing now centralized control networks are based on star and tree topologies and distributor controls are based on ring and bus topology this is another question being repeated okay what is a star topology and what is a tree topology what is a distributed controls are based on ring and bus topologies what is the distributed control there is a ring through which you know so i will give it to the ring that ring will distribute to another one again another ring another ring like question so they are all different agencies who are distributing the system i am not directly distributing i am directly distributing through what star and tree topologies there is one more topology called bus topology here all the devices are connected to a single continuous cable means suppose you know you travel by car how many people can travel five people suppose you travel by a bus how many people can travel minimum 40 40 50 okay no problem thing is the bus is more have is having more horsepower it can make so many people travel so the topology is different because it again goes with the capability of its carrying strength which means 
the topology which is a bus topology means a single bus is able to carry but media is only one which is carrying 50 people strong that's why it's named as a bus topology what is a ring topology the devices are connected in a closed loop and information is passed from one node to the other in series what is series one will go to two two will go to three three will pass on to four four to five again like we said in a series way one cannot pass it to four two cannot pass it to directly to five or six it has to go through in a series manner series means in a in a, in a systematic one after the other that's what it means now in a star topology central node often acts as master and each of the other nodes is joined to the master by separate cable when i say the cable connectivities are different it is directly connected to a cable which is separated from it from the master topology that's what i say you know it's joined to a master by a separate cable tree topology has a root node intermediate nodes and leave nodes where root node is the head node of the structure root why it is called a tree topology you imagine a tree in a tree the leaf is very green very shiny but you mean to say you know the leaf alone is living you know of its own no it is again depending on the root if you cut the root the leaf is gone because its life is in the root that's why the tree topology has a root node intermediate nodes in between branches will be there in a tree and leaf nodes where root node is the head node of the structure now let us go through a small picture of this now imagine this this paragraph you will have minimum of 2 to 3 questions please remember 2 to 3 questions 100% even last time also it has been repeated i just observed so this you will have to concentrate abhi will be sharing all this information just understand the concept now today what is the bus topology bus topology 1 2 3 so in a single cable where everything is brought under one what is a full mesh topology mesh topology there was a question it is in a shape of a mesh like means interaction here can they talk between one one node is covering all the i mean all the nodes are covered through the one cable wire or whatever you say but here you see here it can talk intermittently also this can talk to this 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 yes see here there are two things one is you know vertical and another is horizontal in an organization where the information has to pass on only from the top to the bottom level you will have a different type of topology like this if in an organization there is also a necessity or requirement of exchanges between various in between departments finance department accounts department will have to talk to each other hrd will have to take some information input from this department such people they prefer always a mesh topology what is a ring topology it is in the form of a ring everything is connected to the ring through separately they are correct what is a star topology as we said what is a star topology again you go through it in a star topology distributed controls are based on ring and bus topologies on centralized control is on the star topology when i say centralized control see centralized control is here it is connecting to all under this it is there it is there it is there so this is distributing through these but central control is kept here tree topology similarly imagine try to connect this to a tree in a tree this is the base this is the stem of the tree the backbone cable the concentrator hub these are all connected but based on if this goes entire thing is going for a task means, right so this picture if you imagine you will be able to literally reply minimum questions that are asked on this so topology is the easiest question that you will get don't try to miss those try to cover all the topology questions please don't miss out various network devices in a lab or network interface cards hubs switches bridges routers gateways firewalls wraps that is wireless access points modems etc but in what is a network network is something which is through which you know so i am going to connect myself to the various devices right so that network is doing to say only one network is there network is in different ways it all depends on how much you are going to spend for the purpose suppose you got money you want to have you know the best uh, by you no know, connectivity you go for a big switch so depending upon your area of work depending upon the terminals you are going to put depending upon the various uh, workstations you want to have you will have different types of network devices 
if my work is only so i am going to i am going to have only a, a small uh, computer at my home and i want to work individually like so i will have an interface card one card is there just insert the card you will get connectivity itself. okay hubs are there what do you mean by hubs hubs i will there are there are figures which are showing your hubs hubs are the connectivity is like okay it's small like you know it's a hub switches switches will be powerful switches as well as you know weak switches also what is a switch atm switch do you say atm atms are all connected through switches all of you are aware what do you mean by switch switch is so powerful one switch is taking control of all the atm machines which are connected to a system in a banking industry please understand so switches are other devices which are again connecting many terminals bridges what do you mean by bridge just see this bridge bridge means what lan one lan two lan one is already having so many terminals lan two is already having another terminals these two lans are connected through a bridge why it is called bridge suppose you want to cross a city to city and in between there is a river you have to build a bridge through that through the bridge only you can cross there is no other mean through which you can cross so that's why it's called as a bridge it's a still a larger network nothing else. again you know routers gateways firewalls wireless access points these are all the by 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 the by our future classes or sessions you will be able to understand more about you know the routers the gateways firewalls etc okay modems suppose you put a modem modem means what see suppose you have got a you have got a um, computer operator or somebody who is giving you the connectivity of network connectivity you are you are paying every month some amount some tata connectivity is available in your area what they connect through what they will give you a modem that modem they will fix at your place and go you can also compare it to your to your tv terminal tv connectivity you know there are cable operators otherwise you can also connect to through various other means which are available in large scale these are all the routers routers are also you know again depending upon your requirement depending upon the connectivity what you want to have with how many terminals how many workstations etc routers are put gateways gateway means what suppose i want to enter your house both of us are in the same uh, building but my flat is different your flat is different i want to go from your flat to our flat, flat entire flat is in the same building it is in the same concrete area it is built but my house is different your house is different if i want to come to your house i will have to knock your door take your permission likewise the data related to one organization one setup will have to go to the other means there should be some protocols we call it as there should be some permission from you which i will have to cross that is called you know gateways firewalls firewalls means you know the security i have put i don't want you to cross that security you pass through then only you will be allowed then wireless access points wireless is still more through satellites i am coming connecting advantages of using lan or what is the advantage of using lan there may be a question in this please just remember network devices various under uh, under the following which was which one is not related to a network device they may give you okay under uh, one of them uh, maybe they may say hubs one example switches bridges and lastly they may give you know some another example also like you know tree topology topology is something you know it's a media through which you, know, you are able to travel or take your data from one place to another that's all but these are all the devices being used right that is what so lan or network interface cards hubs switches bridges so this is the way in which you are going to connect but this is the device these two differences you must know so that you will be able to easily identify which is not related to that etc the questions may also come that a b c d a is correct b is correct c is correct a and b are correct likewise also they will we will try to solve such questions also in the coming sessions advantage of using lan or computer software and hardware are shared because through lan when i say i am working in saving account you are working in current account he is working in term deposit other guy is working in some uh, loans department everybody is able to share the same data base which is available in a common server through our various different terminals what is the advantage it is when you are using the shared concept when you are using the shared concept less cost obviously no See, suppose if you go by bus you are spending only 10 rupees same thing you take your scooter or your bike you'll spend more you take your car still more petrol cost is more 
Similarly, when you want more comfort, more these things, you will have to spend more, less cost. Always, banking industry will be in a uh, in a thinking style of reducing their expenses, right? So they always say, you know, less cost and more benefit. How they are able to do? That's why they put every terminal under LAN and ensure that LANs are interconnected. Information available to all users. That does not mean since you are connected to LAN, not that people are not able to get connected to things and get information. Every information is available. Processing load is shared among the machines and overloading is avoided. That's true, no? Processing load means what? You are going to access saving account. I am going to access term and deposit. Not that no, everybody is going to access term deposit at one time. Maybe two people may, but everybody will work in their department. They will be swing. so sharing of the load is also possible, and overloading is avoided. What are the disadvantages? When you say advantages, also questions may also come under disadvantages. Complicated software to be installed for data management. When I am trying to connect so many people, see suppose yourself and your wife, only two people are there in the house. You are, you are having a little work, you are having some comfort, all that, etc. But at the same time, you are living in a joint family with 10 people. Obviously, the problem is there. In the sense, there are also advantages. At the same time, there are also disadvantages of not being, you know, privacy not being there. There, 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 is, there is no, uh, there is a lot of disturbance. So many things you can say. Similarly, complicated software should be installed for data management. Because, you know, I am trying to load everything in one place all the data and all the data being, you know, uh, being uh, uh, given access to all the people at the same time, which means I will have to have more of software installed. See, all of you are aware, you know, so you are working on software means what you are working in the front end. But front end, I type something, I put, you know, five into two, 10 is the result I'm going to, but somebody is there in the back end who is writing the program. No, that fellow will have to write a code for that. What is the code? He will have, you know, uh, introduction, introductory session and he will start writing the coding etc if then logically he has to write select five from this select two from this select the data from this into into means he has to give the formula there then use this formula and give the result etc so the system will have to work this out and give you the result likewise you imagine the software being loaded and written in the system will be huge obviously it means security risks are high since each user is accessing independently. I am also using the system. You are also using the system. I don't know the security risks are more, which means risk cannot be avoided. Suppose you are traveling somewhere, you know, so suppose you know, the bus or train you go, suppose accident happens means can avoid travel. You'll have to travel. You can't avoid it. But at the same time, risk is there. You'll have to take some measures to avoid such things, that is security, which means the banks will have to spend more on securing the data. Security risks are high since each user is accessing independently. Frequent maintenance works out to be costly. Obviously, no. What is applicable yesterday is not applicable today because hackers will become more. People are trying to access data because you know the access points are all more. So you want to take your balance in your account or statement of account. I can go to the branch and take. I can sit in internet at home and take it. I can take it through ATM machine, through mobile. I can I mean, when I give access to various means, risk also is associated. Thereby you are exposing yourself to the world that this is available here. So that, so I have to keep monitoring. So monitoring in one, one route means I can monitor one route. When there are 10 routes, I have to monitor 10 routes. When I monitor 10 routes, 10 routes expensive. Simple. So now what do I say here? Bridge means what? between these two lands, I'm trying to connect through a bridge. Firewall means what? I told you. This is a wall. That's why it's called a firewall. LAN, WAN. What is WAN? Void area network. Means LAN means what? It is your own system. I am working in Punjab National Bank. Punjab National Bank only is able to access this all my branches. Or State Bank of India. State Bank of India people only are able to access. That also only a limited persons in limited areas. Others cannot access. But now when I go through WAN, VDA network, I am also transmitting through NEFT or RTGS to some other bank through whatever server is available, etc. So I put a firewall security measure. Suppose you are using here in the WAN, what you are using, readifmailer.com, gmail.com. Okay. So when I are using your access, when I am sending something to your mail ID from small to big area, it is being distributed. 
which means i will have to have security measures called as firewall okay it has to pass through this i will keep some test router router looks like this routers are connected to various terminals one router you put connect so many terminals suppose you know your limited terminals are connected router can be used if they are more as i said you know you have to use different devices now coming to the wide area network wide area network is based on telecommunication network and connectivity is also possible through satellite links or microwave links or a combination of all these by combination it again depends on your you know the, the data what you are going to transmit okay suppose in a tv you are transmitting only the image no you have to transmit the image you have to transmit the sound you have to transmit the voice you have to transmit the color at one time you know several things will have to come to you which means simply if i do no not possible right see suppose you know you know in hindi katputli okay i, I am playing from uh, through a doll from sky correct it's a it's a play when i am trying to play how many people are operating here ne down fellow so many are there but many people are operating simple thing you take a drama you are acting in a drama to enact a drama minimum say ramayana you require minimum 10 characters or 20 characters otherwise you, know, you cannot enact the drama effectively suppose if it's a small drama it is something only delivering something two people are enough similarly when your data or the information what you want to capture and transmit or more i have to use satellite or microwave links these are all you know terminals which you will have to remember these are all network devices based on telecommunication network and connectivity is also possible through satellite links or microwave links or a combination of all these see data travels from bangalore to mumbai data travels from bangalore to chennai data travels from bangalore to mysore data travels from kerala from kochi to from ernakulam to let us say kollam distance see the distance from trivandrum to kollam very far in a visible distance you can go but at the same time the same data is also traveling to the california it's also traveling to some other area in a foreign country to germany to italy to other places which means depending upon the distance you will have to have the help of others that is why you know i require some satellite links or both microwave links also microwave systems are of a broad band not bank transmission and signals are transmitted directly from a dish antenna to a receiving dish antenna how do you put the dish antenna you must have seen the dish antenna there is a dish like antenna can a single dish antenna receive information and pass it on no it has it has its own you know limitation it will pass on maximum say for 25 kilometers 30 kilometers then what happened it will transmit from this and dish antenna to the other dish antenna okay so maximum microwave station located at maximum 25 miles away each relay station catches and boosts the data signals passing them to other receiving station it is simple in a running race i will hold the fire on hand i will run and hand over the fire to other fellow he will catch it and run right similar to that 25 miles maximum distance this microwave stations can catch up and this antenna will pass it on to the other antenna that's all dish antenna simple in a satellite communication network data voice and video informations are converted to radio waves at earth stations and are beamed up over a broad band transmission channel to a satellite which relays the data back to an earth station or an antenna atop a top building within a fraction of a second see the activity how much it is doing okay in a satellite when you when you transmit through satellite what does it do it is transmitting data your voice and also the video that is the, uh, the picture images immediately are they are they passing them simply i mean uh, you are you are passing on in the computer language or the ascii language okay your information are encrypted correct encrypt is safe so when you pass on do you mean to say sir i am coming tomorrow when you when you type do you mean to say the computer or the system is passing on you know i am coming tomorrow no it will convert it into its own language that is ascii language and it will be converted and again decrypted when it reaches the other station everything is done in very fraction of second that's what it means so which means these all these data text video informations are all converted to radio waves at the earth stations wherever each other station it is there i mean suppose you know your loading station let us say and are beamed up over a broad band transmission channel it passes on through the satellite and the satellite will again give it back to the earth station where it reaches suppose the information is coming from 
one station to the another station the sending station receiving station or an art an antenna atop your top building its job is you know to pass on to the antenna in a big building that's all that antenna will pass it on to the uh, system whether it is a tv or your computer or any other uh, system within a fraction all these things they take in uh, within a fraction of a second it happens each computer connected in a van requires connected to a telecommunication line a modem and a communication software to capture take care of the transmission and receipt of the data how the data is transmitted please remember there may be a question in this whenever you are connecting through a wired area network to a telecommunication line a modem and a communication software what are the requirements there should be a telecommunication line line means what as i said no communication can be through a satellite or it can be through radio waves etc depending upon you know whether the distance and the requirement so again you know they are all costly that's what i'm saying if you want to pass on to a more place you will have to spend more which means it requires when you want to pass on through van what are the three requirements one there should be a telecommunication line through which you know information is passed on you should keep a modem and a communication software everything is through software only language like you talk in english software is a language so the system which transmits data from one place to another we have to understand things if it is conveyed in its language so i say a communication software is taking the care these informations and the transmission is accordingly done then it receives so my question here is under a van what are the requirements three things one is a telecommunication line one is a modem and a communication software simply if you know say i have got a, i have got a, a telecommunication line and i got a modem is it not is it not it's not required you cannot it will not understand your language whatever images you are transmitting or text you are transmitting or data you are transmitting you will have to write it in a computerized language that is a software so that is the most important thing is here the software don't remember don't uh, try to forget this you will have to remember okay in there will be a question on this uninterrupted power supply in your houses you know power supply is gone means you have a uh, power supply system that is called ups right what is the purpose of ups ups normally i will have a ups machine which is uh, already charged when the current goes what i will start the ups and it will supply power but online ups means what you will not know when the power has gone automatically see i remember those days ups are not there we used to have you know generator and we used to bring you know petrol from outside you will petrol will not be there petrol will be drained out this fellow will put the petrol and he will start mission will be old sound will come by the time cashier will shout all these things used to happen now everything is gone because of the computer for computerization if you keep all these your computerization will be a failure when you do computerization you cannot do away with ups it is something like you know you buy a car and uh, you buy a car and you hesitate to buy a, a tire how can you drive the car similar to that ups is the most important thing for your computerization maintenance so it is made available it will reconvert on resumption of power supply automatically it will you know transmit yourself and when the power comes it will stop and transfer again to the power that is the online ups offline means what it has a battery charger it will be charged and inverter as two separate parts there are two things and power is available through main battery charger is charging the battery and inverter is on standby inverter will be there by the side and through which the power supply will be there and you will have to take up that is offline so in banks there will be a question whether you use offline or online it will be always online otherwise you know data corruption will be there data may not be available immediately so for an uninterrupted power supply you require online ups it's a simple question if you like our content do like share and subscribe